So, you don't have a lot of time, you say, and you need to remove some strings or wires, fishing line from your video? Well, ain't that a coincidence? Because that's exactly what I want to show you today. It's like we have this weird telepathic connection going on here. It's crazy. Anyway, it'll take two minutes, tops, in DaVinci Resolve 17. Okay, so let's say you shot a video and you used some fishing line to make an object float. Well, it's super easy to remove that fishing line in DaVinci Resolve 17. It's pretty much a click of a button. Let me show you. So this is my clip and you see the strings here at the top. Now select the clip and go to the Fusion page. In the Fusion page, make sure to select the Media In node, that's the one on the left, and then click this icon right here to add a Paint node. Then select the Polyline Stroke tool at the top and draw a line over the string. Simple. There. And now, a little bit of magic, hit this icon right here, Wire Removal. It looks like a barbed wire or something like that. And boom, the string has disappeared. But as you can see, there's still a little imperfection here. Sometimes it's perfect right away, but usually you have to tweak the settings a little bit. You can adjust the brush size or the softness depending on the thickness of your string or fishing line, but in my case, I'm going to adjust the angle here. See how I can get rid of that little imperfection? So if the result is not perfect, just play around a bit with the settings. Usually it's easy to get it right. Okay, but this is a video, not a photo. The box of Tic Tacs moves, so we need to keyframe or animate that wire removal line. Go all the way down in the inspector, open stroke control and right click down here where it says right click, easy. And then select animate. And now you can make keyframes. So you can move the playhead up here and these frames are all okay, the box is not moving, but here it starts moving up. So I put the playhead right before it starts moving up and make a keyframe. Click here on that little diamond and it should turn red. Then put the playhead on the next frame and move the paint line to match the string. DaVinci will make keyframes automatically now every time you move the wire removal line. And just repeat that for every frame so that that line follows the string. And now you can see that the wire removal line follows the movements of the string. And depending on the movement, you could skip some frames. You know, sometimes you don't have to keyframe every single frame. But in this case, the best result was by keyframing every single frame. And that's it for today. Super easy. DaVinci Resolve does all the work for you. And you can use that paint tool for a lot more, by the way. But that's for another video. For now, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Lights out.